hi and welcome back to the Côte d'Azur where yet again near Toulon at a place called the Shore Integration Facility where teams from the DGA, French Navy, Naval Group and Thales are testing the Sea Fire Radar and the combat system of the future frigates of the French Navy, the FDI. Good afternoon Pierrick, where are we right now? So you are in Saint-Mandrier near Toulon where we are currently integrating the new combat system for FDI, FDI being the new frigate for the French Navy. So behind you, you have in fact a new mast, the mast being developed and uh, built by the shipyard, owner, the shipyard in, uh, in Lorient. Uh, in terms of combat systems, so uh, Naval Group is in charge of the combat system for the FDI. Yeah. What can you tell us about it? Okay, so currently we are installing on this site all the equipment for the combat system. So the first one will be the new sea fire from Thales. And the fourth commitment will have all the equipment for the combat system and will start the, the integration with all this equipment. In terms of the combat management system, so the software part, will there be anything new compared to existing vessels now of the French Navy? Yes, this uh, CMS, this fact is the CETIS CMS, is coming from in fact the, C the CETIS family from the frame, and we take benefit of all, of course, the experience from the frame, and so we'll add up the CMS for the new capability for this frigate, especially the asymmetric threats and the new radar from Thales. And uh, you mentioned asymmetric threats. There will be a secondary uh, CIC inside the FDI. Can you tell us about it? Yes, it's an innovation for, for, the, for the FDI. You have some camera around the ship detecting all the threats in very short, very short range. And we, we have appropriate response against this sort of threats with non-lethal uh, weapons and lethal weapons. So behind me, uh, you can see the mast of uh, FTI, Frigate de Défense et d'Intervention. Uh, this, this mast will be fitted on the, on the frigate uh, in Lorient. Currently, it is here for uh, testing and at the end of the development of the Sea Fire, and it is fitted with one uh, panel of Sea Fire radar. The testing of the radar has uh, begun uh, beginning of September. It will last until the uh, end of next year. And by the end of this year, we'll uh, fit a second panel on the, on the mast in order to get uh, the full qualification of the radar by the end of 2020. In fact, that brings uh, the capabilities in fact, to detect several types of uh, threats uh, from drones uh, to hypersonic missiles and also surface uh, surveillance. So this is extension of existing capabilities on the existing radars already. But that's improved a lot uh, the capability to detect multiple threats at the same time. Number of uh, threats that can be tracked at the same time is uh, far above the hundreds of uh, targets. And also uh, in terms of range of detection, we uh, can go up to uh, 400 kilometers. Two revolutionary tools. One is a CCMS, communication, Centralized Communication Management System, called Partner C, and this one is Comtix, is a tool to distribute the information on board. Yes, this is a management system, you know, on board a ship. There are many elements uh, contributing to the uh, uh, comm system, radio, modem, etc., and terminals, etc., and this is manage everything on board. Today, on the market with only voice terminal. It's not only voice, but also data, for instance, CCTV, the internal network for, for uh, television on board, uh, but also data, apps, what you want. This is a, the fixed version, this is a mobile version. Will each sailor on board the FDI be equipped with this equipment? On board the FDI, we'll have 30 uh, terminals like that with dual capacity. And if the Navy wants to have more as a smartphone, uh, every sailor could, could uh, use this uh, smartphone. 